Hey friends, how's it going? Just wanted to post a quick update on my new uh, New King James Quintel 28 GSM. So the sleeker Quintel, the sleeker New King James uh, by Skyler, the sleeker Quintel. It's a beautiful, beautiful Bible. Uh, initially when I got it I thought that I was not going to be crazy about this uh, cover because the grain is not as pronounced as the 36 GSM that I have and also um, the uh, thin line Quintel New American Standard. I really love the pronounced grain but I have to say that this uh, smoother um, cover uh, is growing on me and I love it now. So it's not that I don't love the pronounced grain, but I just, I started really enjoying this one. And the more I use it, the more I enjoy the cover. Still very thick leather, so that's very good. The quality is is amazing, so no issues there. But the other issue that I uh, shared on my initial review, I still maintain that in my particular copy, I know that some people have been saying that in their copies um, the the printing is not inconsistent. Uh, the, they don't really have different shades of uh, of black and or dark gray. But in my copy, honestly, uh, I do see an inconsistency that um, is enough to bother me and I normally don't get bothered by this much. Uh, I, I don't see that on the 36 GSM um, Quintel. I did not see that on my 28 GSM Bible, the thin line New American Standard. It's also 28 GSM and I did not find that inconsistency in the printing. So to me it's really probably my copy that just turned out to be this way and another thing that I've noticed is not only the inconsistency in the color of the printing uh, in the black and the red but also some inconsistency in the the way or the place where the printing is located in some pages when you compare it to others. As you can see here you have ghosting on this page you can see the printing on the back because um, right here on this page, this is John 20 and 21, the margin is actually wider than in John 19. So um, the location of the printing here is further to the left and in this page is further to the right. And this is not just in one place uh, in this Bible. I actually found it in several places. I preached with this Bible and I quoted 1 Corinthians 6 and this is one of the places that I noticed also the same problem here. As you can see, I think you can see it in the camera. Look at that. You can clearly see that um, the location of the printing is different so you have ghosting because of that. Uh, on this page, 1 Corinthians 6 and 7, I have a wider margin than I have in uh, 1 Corinthians 4. So it's very clear. And actually in these two pages you can even see how the printing is different in terms of its color. Um, 1 Corinthians 4, it's way darker and it looks bold and here in 1 Corinthians 6 it doesn't. So I don't think I'm imagining things. I think this is um, really a problem with the uh, printing in this Bible. So, of course, I've underlined it. I've, I've preached with it. I've used it. So I'm not returning it. For what I've experienced with this Bible, I don't think I, I'm going to be able to make it my main Bible for preaching and Bible studies because, um, although I, I love it so much, it's so beautiful, uh, but uh, I was preaching on Revelation 21 and I have this uh, way to interact with the Bible. I underlined a lot, I, um, I make a lot of annotations and the way I do it uh, just makes the pages curl up a little bit, especially when the paper is thin. So this paper is so thin that I was preaching, I was holding the Bible like this, and as I was going the <laughs> and talking, the pages would turn without my authorization. So yeah, for me to preach with this Bible is not going to be very easy. I still can do it, but yeah, just it depends on how you use the Bible. If you leave it 
just uh, flat in the pulpit, you won't have a problem because it's very visible. I mean, the font is amazing. I maintain the fact that I don't see a great difference in the opacity of um, the 28 GSM if you compare it to the uh, 36 GSM, so that doesn't bother me. Uh, I do feel that the pages are a little bit harder to turn, especially as I try to give Bible studies with this Bible and preach with this Bible. Yeah, the pages are a little bit harder to turn because of the thinness of the paper. So other than that, beautiful, beautiful Bible. I've shared many details on my previous review, so I'm not going to bother you with that. I'm recording this video with natural light so you can have a little bit of a better idea of the color of this imperial blue. And I hope this video is useful for you if you are planning on buying this Bible. Another thing that I've noticed is that um, I've, I'm using, this is very rare for me, so I'm trying new things. I'm using um, highlighters. As I read, I highlight some passages with Sharpie highlighters. And I've used pink highlighters. And I can tell you that there's a little bit, it's not a bleed through, but you can, you can totally see on the other side of the page if you use the pink or a highlighter that is a little bit uh, darker coloration or a stronger color. Just uh, be careful if you have one of these or if you're planning on buying one of these, just know how to use them. Um, I'm using the Microns and uh, no problem with that, no issue with that. Um, yeah, you can see that it's underlined, but there's not, um, yeah, you can see. Oh, well, actually in the camera, in the image of the camera, you can see better than with the naked eye. If I use uh, color, my coloring pencils here, and I have used, what happens is that since the paper is really thin, you, you also can notice that uh, the, the paper was pressured in that part. So there's maybe other options to highlight your Bible that you can use. Um, but if you like to do what I do with the Bibles, just bear in mind that this paper is um, thinner and you will, you will notice that. Although it's good in quality paper, but yeah, it's not a 36 GSM. Thing for preaching, uh, although I'm still a little bit sad that the Thomas Nelson did not give us a little bit more margin space in the preaching Bible. I think for preaching, this one is really uh, better, the preaching Bible by Thomas Nelson, because you know, you just hold it in your hands and the paper will not fly. The paper is heavier, it's a 36 or 39 GSM, I don't know, and uh, but it's really good paper. Uh, and also for underlining and uh, and marking, I've, I've done that in, in a few places of that Bible and I and I do think it's a little bit better. So I'm really excited about uh, what's coming in October, that verse by verse by Thomas Nelson. I hope um, to be really happy with that Bible, which is advertised as 36 GSM. Still, I don't know if they will be able to beat the, the beautiful, um, gorgeous look of uh, this Kyler. Um, yeah, I love the look of this Bible. It's just beautiful, amazing. But in terms of... Uh, how useful it will be for ministry. Um, yeah, maybe Thomas Nelson will beat this one. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, looking forward. <laughs> Anyways, Skylar does amazing Bibles, and I don't want to say anything against Skylar. I just have a, a copy that, to me, is a little bit defective. Maybe I could have returned it, but I didn't examine it uh, very, very, very well before I started to underline so I'm not going to return it now, and uh, yeah, but you can clearly see, look, Acts 4. <laughs> look at that, look at that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my friend, this was the review, maybe a little bit longer than I expected, that I hope is useful for somebody who is considering him buying this Bible. I would still buy this Bible because I think it's such a beautiful Bible. I'm, I'm reading from it. I'm going to use it in many ways. Um, and I'm going to preach with it and give Bible studies with it for sure, but is yeah has some limitations for um, my kind of uh, usage of the Bible. So yeah, God bless you. Bye.